Hi, I'm Brandon Dake, the Registrar here at Heart Mountain, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's Digital Dust It Off. It's almost a paradox, but when the Japanese American incarcerees began arriving at Heart Mountain, they, many of them found that they had more free time than they did before the war. And they began to look to a number of things to fill that free time, whether it was sports and clubs, music and theater, or arts such as ikebana, calligraphy, painting, or ceramics. Um, a number of incarcerees, however, were professional artists, um, many from Los Angeles. And many of those were members of the Art Students League of Los Angeles. That league was part of an international movement with uh, branches in every major city, not, a, not only in the United States, but across the world, um, of Art Students Leagues that were community learning centers for artists, um, art students, professional artists, or people who just had art as a hobby. Therefore, it was no surprise that those members of the LA League transplanted the Art Students League to Hart Mountain, where it became part of the Adult Education Department, run by Walter Schlosser and overseen by Estella Shigo, who you heard about on Monday. Two of the leaders of the Art Students League were Benji Okubo and Hideo Date. Um, this Beethoven print was drawn by Date and is a rather unique piece of work from him. Uh, when he came to Heart Mountain, he began painting and drawing almost exclusively cat pictures. Um, he never explained why, uh, even when people asked him. But he drew this for a friend of his who was also an aficionado of classical music. Uh, both had been members of the Art Students League in Los Angeles, so it became no real surprise that they became leaders of the league at Heart Mountain. Okubo, in particular, was described as the heart and soul of the Heart Mountain League. Um, and Gomper Saijo, when he met uh, Okubo at camp, described him as looking at, like a pirate who had just walked off a Hollywood set. Um, Date, though, was more reclusive and never really achieved the fame that people thought he would in the 1930s and before the war. Uh, another instructor at the league was uh, Benji, uh, Bob Kuwahara, whose photo we have here. Uh, Kuwahara was perhaps the most successful artist at Heart Mountain. Uh, before the war, he had been working for Disney and had worked on Snow White and many other major Disney motion pictures. Uh, not only did he instruct at the Art Students League, he also continued his own painting, um, painting this picture of the Vocation Building, which was another name for the camp's train depot. The Art Students League was part of what made Heart Mountain a community. Um, not only with their emphasis on community education, but also hosting exhibitions in the dining halls. And it became an avenue to expose people to art who might otherwise never had considered it. Uh, Gomper Saijo, who I mentioned earlier, a rather successful artist in his own right, had started as the son of a chicken farmer and may never have gotten into art without the Art Students League. I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, Dust That Off, and I hope you join us next week as we share more stories from our collection.